Hey, how's it going? How you doing? So what do you have here? This is the earliest documented paper money from the Ming Dynasty, China, 1368 to 1399. It's uh, called the uh, one Quan note, which is basically 1,000 cash. There are two notes in there. That's why you're seeing two different shades. OK. I mean, it's pretty cool, dude. Governments have always tried paper money. The problem is with paper money, there's this massive temptation to keep on printing more and more and more. And you start getting inflation, and the right. next thing you know, what used to cost a buck cost a hundred bucks. It's the inevitable keep on printing until you destroy yourself. <laughs> I got these notes from a seller whose brother passed away. I really appreciate Chinese currency. It's one of my favorites to collect. I would like to get for the better condition, probably around 12,500 and the lesser condition note, probably $8,750. So how much you want for them? Well, the better condition one, 12,500. The lesser condition, 8750. Okay. Have you had these checked out by anybody? No, I have not had checked out. Had notes checked out one time. They were gone for over two months. Cost a lot of money. I mean, I can call someone in to take a look at it. Definitely. You know, um, a lot of times when it's too good to be true, it usually is. Um, hold on a few minutes. I'm going to go give them a call, and uh, I'm going to get Ben here. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Having an expert come in, very interested to see what he has to say. I'm strictly a collector. I have not been doing this an incredibly long time, so I'm excited to learn everything I can about these notes. Um, he's got printed Chinese notes. Wow, you know. look at that. Wow. Um, he says they're from the 14th century. Well, you know, it's so fascinating to me to take a look at ancient Chinese currency. And there's a guy in history. That's the guy who invented paper. Oh, His really? His name was Sei Lung. And he actually invented paper in 105 AD. He used maciated bark. He used old fishing nets. He used rags, boiled it all together, and it turns to paper, right? right? So it, it kind of changed the world. Sure. I've seen examples of currency that go all the way back to 250 AD. And back in those days, money was used almost like an IOU note. It basically would say, I owe you two amounts of silver, and then I owe you seven coils of copper. And that way started currency. As I'm looking at this uh, with my expertise, this is Ming Dynasty, mm -hmm. okay? You flip this over, and right there, that tells you how much money's involved, okay? You've got two big drecots of silver, and this is gonna be copper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten uh, drecots of copper. This is the emperor's seal right here. So I can take one look at that and say, that's emperor Yuan. This is Ming. So you've got two different pieces of currency in here. Yes. So is it real? What do you think, Chen Li? Does it look old to you and 750 years old? About as old as you. <laughs> <laughs> Not You're quite funny. 750 years. You're really years. funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, handmade paper that came out of that dynasty, and it's come over my desk at the university before. It usually is more frayed. It's got a thicker texture to it. And, and handmade paper, it, it, there's no consistency to it. it, it it's kind of like, you know, rough looking. Well, I'm just going to say, based on what I've seen, I cannot say that this is real. It, it kind of looks too clean, hmm. uh, too new to be 700 years old. I understand. All right. OK, you. sir. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're basically looking at paper that's 700 years old. And by the time it would get to my desk, it's very frayed. This stuff looked like it came off the press yesterday. So it really did throw up a red flag with me. I mean, maybe there's a slight chance and a really slight chance that it's some way legitimate. Old paper like this, it's, um, it becomes brittle. Interesting. I mean, you can send it off to a currency grading company, and maybe for some weird reason they were like this, but I really doubt it. And I appreciate it. Have a good one, man. You too. Thank you. Well, I definitely am disappointed they feels they're not real. I'm not sure if I agree with them. I'm not sure how many of these have come across their desk.